what's up guys thank you for tuning in today we're gonna talk about semiconductor stocks so there are two of my favorite categories that i try to play options with one is semiconductor and one is leverage semiconductor stocks for the leverage semiconductor etf i play options with soxl which you see right here and the stock that i play options with is nvidia so i've been doing it for more than three years now playing options and lost a lot of money in the beginning but i did learn quite a few things and with the portfolio that i have currently i'm trying to not take a lot of risks and uh, to be honest playing options with the stock that i really want to hold long term as well is not a bad idea and that's what i'm doing with the nvidia stock here right and uh, soxl is basically the second semiconductor etf it is also the second biggest semiconductor etf after smh uh, which is just based on the semiconductor stocks basically but SOXL day trading community is very uh, very famous it has a lot of volume and uh, since it's leveraged then it also has sweet premium so I did all these three options today so I only had one covered call on SOXL firing at 35 this Friday uh, and then SOXL I sold five more Put contracts i was able to make eight dollars per contract so i made forty dollars here and then i made uh, let's see how much we made here so fourteen dollars per contract on nvidia expiring in on friday and this the strike price that i picked is hundred and three dollars so i'm willing to buy hundred shares of nvidia at $103 for $14 I have also credited uh, so basically I did three contracts on Nvidia uh, since the earnings week is coming in a couple weeks I'm really trying to get hold of some Nvidia stocks but not at the price that it currently is uh, trying to get in uh, with a little cheaper price than currently is and then um, last of my trade was not on a semiconductor stock but it is on qqq as i told you in almost all of my previous video this is the etf that i really believe in investco's nasdaq 100 etf mainly the technology companies that are all in there and since i belong to a technology world i have a full-time job at a technology company and that's why i truly believe that this etf the qqq's will keep growing at the pace that it has been growing for the last 10 or 15 years uh, so what i did here i sold the covered call again i already have 104 shares so i sold the covered call at 473 dollars price and only got two dollars from here so i do this every single day and make about two to three dollars every single day usually uh, but sometimes i do get paid like five dollars uh, for a contract as well again like it really depends on how aggressive i'm uh, trying to play the options so in this case what i did is uh, since uh, cpi data is in and things are not looking that bad what analysts were assuming but it's still the market is down so what i did is i sold the covered call my buying cost is $440 per share I sold the covered call at 473 about here and I got $2 credited and uh, which I right away invest back in QQQ so I, I keep on investing back those two three dollars every single day back in QQQ so I'm getting more shares of course the cost is going to go up because currently it is at 460 dollars but it's not coming out of my pocket so the average cost that you'll see here is not actually a true representative of what i have put in the stock so other than that talking about semiconductors nvidia has earnings call coming up very soon i think and last week off this is when nvidia is gonna report yeah so august 28th uh, is when it's uh, gonna report its earnings it's gonna be a fun week at, at that time hopefully i'll be selling a, a covered a cassie good put at that time if i don't have a stocks or if i have 
nvidia stocks by that time if i get assigned any of these contracts that i've sold three contracts today i will be uh, selling covered call on nvidia making a lot of money there that's about it i currently have 1200 dollars in in my buying power and uh, i don't plan to invest any of this outside of the spy that i do uh, so what i did is uh, i was able to make uh, some calls and uh, some put options premium um, and then what i do is i reinvest all the semiconductor options premium that i collect back in buying spy so here if you look at the five contracts of soxl at 27 dollars per i was credited eight dollars per contracts so i got 40 dollars uh, from these five contracts so 40 dollars here and then 14 dollars per contract for three dollar three contracts so that's uh, 42 i believe 42 dollars here 40 dollars here that rounds up 82 dollars and of course the um, the premium that i get from covered call i reinvest in qtq so the 82 dollars that i have i need to buy spy for that much money so let's go ahead and put a uh, order of 81 dollars and that's what i've been doing i just bought 81 dollars worth of spy again outside of this i also have 110 dollars daily and buy order that i have kept for spy i'm investing in spy because i want it to be one of the three top holdings that i have uh, so i'm buying schd i have bought qqq and spy and uh, so all together i want to have one quarter in qqq one quarter in schd one quarter in spy and the fourth quarter would be in cash form so i'll be selling cash secured bots and making you know passive income with with the options especially on the semiconductor stocks uh, so that's about it i hope you guys will like this video i hope you guys enjoyed this video and uh, i will be watching this really closely and will be making more moves soon in the stock market and we'll be putting more to our baseline I will be investing more i usually put 1600 dollars every single month and that's what the plan is to invest 1600 dollars next month as well and i'll keep investing in buying more stocks quality etfs so thank you guys for watching and i hope i'll see you guys in my next video till then take care of yourself and people around you goodbye